Hey, 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 Pretty Planner Dolls. It's me, Shonda of Pretty Face Plans, and I am back with a new type of plan with me video. Not necessarily new, but bringing back an oldie but goodie. I have decided to begin doing my wellness workout Wednesday videos again, and so I'm about to plan out my activity and my um, meal prep or meal plan for the week. Now, this sheet that I have here is a sheet from um, a planner pad from Goldmine and Coco. It's kind of wrinkled because I tore it off of this uh, page and then didn't get to it, so it got wrinkled up in my bag, but I'm going to use it anyway. And so you'll see you have a column here for your activity for the day, column for the habits, column for um, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Now, the only thing that's missing off of here is a column for snacks. And so I wish that was there. I am going to try to figure out how I'll incorporate that. I might flip over on the back side of this and just create my own snack log. So if you're interested in seeing my plans for the upcoming weeks, which is going to be May, what is it going to be? May 4th. We'll start the week. Let's see. Have a second. May 3rd will start the week. So 3rd through the 9th, I believe, is going to be the week. So if you're interested in seeing what I'm going to be doing uh, exercise-wise and eating-wise, just stick around. Okay, so um, like I said, this is going to be the week of May, and I'm going to start it on that Monday, so May 3rd, 2021, and we'll start with the activity. So my plan is on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, those will be outdoor workout days. And then Tuesday, Thursday will be indoor workout days, like gym days. So on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is typically when I will do some kind of running or walking um, activity outside or maybe ride my bike. I think I'm going to stick with walking and running this week. So let's see. It's just Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is just straight cardio. So I'm going to say Monday cardio. And we'll decide what actual cardio we do that day a little bit later. And then on Tuesday and Thursday is going to be weight training. And I wrote too big because I want to write upper body. And then let's try to fit that in here again. Weight train lower body. Then Saturday will also be a weight training day. And we'll just say total body. So I'll work on both upper and lower. And then Sunday, we're going to say we can rest. Sunday is like my relaxation day, prep for the next week. That's when I do my actual 
meal prep. So I'm going to write that on Sunday as my habit. Um, other habits I'm going to put on here steps and I'm putting it up here at the top and water and I will record how many steps and how much water I get there. Now let's do our breakfast and since I kind of meal plan and prep I try to come up with two to three different meals for breakfast and lunch and then dinner is something different every day. So for breakfast this week we are going to do smoked sausage and by the way I am trying to follow a keto diet so there will not be any carbs or very low carbs in any of these meals that I'm doing. So smoked sausage and eggs and then So we'll do that on Monday. And trying to avoid um, eating eggs so much. But eggs is like the perfect keto food. So I'm fairly new to keto. I've been trying to do it and get into a groove with it since uh, February, I believe. And so I'm looking for some good breakfast alternatives that don't involve eggs. So uh, I think for the work week, something that is quick and easy, and I think I want to do this in a different color so it'll be easier for me to see what I got going on. I am going to write in a different cover, color. So I'm going to say avocado toast. And that is, of course, on a very low carb. It's like, uh, it's called solo cow bread, I think. I get it at Walmart. Um, so it's a low carb bread and I normally have it with boiled eggs but since I'm trying to limit the eggs I'm just going to do the toast and I really hook it up because I, uh, I, I I toast my low calorie bread and then I spread the avocado on there and then I'll put a slice of tomato on there drizzle of olive oil and a little salt and pepper it is delicious and then I will plan for Saturday and Sunday's breakfast later because those, I think I'm going to try some new recipes. So what I'm going to do is uh, pencil it in. I think that I am going to try this thing called a chaffle. Haven't had one yet. Um, and we'll see how that goes. So I'm just going to put that there. Because on the weekends, I have more time to um, experiment. These are quick and easy tried and true recipes, so I can uh, whip those up real quick. And I like a fresh breakfast, so I get up early enough in the mornings, every morning, to uh, prep my breakfast. Okay. Then, so like I said, I meal prep. So for lunch, my plan this week is... Um, taco bowls. So I'm going to alternate just for my, uh, I'm going to do different color. Let's go with green. I'm using the colors that are already in this thing. So for my lunches this week, it's not really any purple in there. Let's go with green and let's go with What other color? De -de 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 -de. Let's go with a different color blue. How about that color note? Not that color blue. Picked up the wrong one. This color blue. So, 
right here for lunch, we're going to do a low carb or keto taco bowl. And we'll do that Monday. Wednesday and Friday. So I just prep it all and bowl it up on um, Sunday afternoon. And then I messed it up. Let's see if I can white out. I wonder if this marker is going to write over there. That should be here. I don't know how I skipped. Taco bowl. And then on Tuesday and Thursday, we are going to do a BLT salad in a jar. BLT salad in a jar. BLT salad in a jar. So two of those, that's my work week. And then Saturday and Sunday, um, I will plan later because I haven't come up with what I want to do as far as lunch. And I kind of give myself a little leeway, not getting off my low carb, but having a little fun kind of food. Like I might do some... Excuse me, I might do some um, grilled chicken. Oh, that's a good one. I know what I can put for Saturday. I will put for Saturday to do like a pizza casserole for lunch. I'm trying to write over this white out. And for Sunday's lunch, what can we do? So a piece of casserole is just basically all of the toppings that you um, would put on a pizza crust, but no crust. It's just all mixed in together. It's like if you took a piece and picked the toppings off of it that, and ate that part. And then Sunday, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do for lunch. Got to come up with something. Okay, so let's move on to dinner. And so for dinner this week, let me get me some more colors. I'm gonna do some more colors. No, this will be too busy. So I'm gonna go back with the pink and I'll do the pink and the blue this time. So for Monday's dinner, I'm going to do Monterey chicken. Uh, Monterey chicken is a pan fried or pan seared chicken breast with uh, cheese on top of it and barbecue sauce. And of course, I'm going to use a low carb, homemade low carb barbecue sauce to keep the carb count down. Then, and I'll pair it with some kind of green vegetable, either spinach, broccoli. Uh, Brussels sprouts, something like that, some green vegetable. On Tuesday, I am going to do Mongolian beef. So on Monday, we're going to Mexico on Tuesday. Uh-oh, that's not going to work because I don't want this blue right next to that. So I'll do pink and green, which I wasn't going to do. On Tuesday, I'm going to do Mongolian beef, keto style. So how you do Mongolian beef keto style is with uh, xanthan gum, which is going to be something new for me. I'm going to be trying that out. And then the sweetener is like stevia or monk fruit sweetener to sweeten it. Um, on Wednesday, I am going to go back to Mexico. And we're going to have... chicken fajitas. Oh, but I had a taco bowl for lunch on Wednesday, so I don't want chicken fajitas on Wednesday for lunch. So, we'll move those chicken fajitas to this day.
And of course, it's just the filling, no tortillas. I might try to research and find me a low carb chicken, a low carb tortilla. So if I put the chicken fajitas there, that means on this day, I am going to put my salmon and asparagus. Okay, then let's see. Friday, we'll have a fun meal of, well, we're gonna switch out again. On Friday, we'll do some coconut shrimp, coconut shrimp. And I make that with a low carb. <coughs> excuse me, keto um, coleslaw. And then Saturday dinner, we're going to put nachos. And I've tried two different ways to make nachos. One was with uh, pork rinds as the chips, and it was okay. It's not like a tortilla chip, but it was it was okay. And then the other way that I've seen it done is using like the mini bell peppers as your chips. Or again, I'm going to be researching and trying to find me some low carb things. I've looked at a couple of things, but it's very expensive to get them. And so uh, that's why I'm planning early this week so I can kind of, it's hard to find them in the store. You have to order it offline. So I can kind of um, get that and try it out, have it here to try out. So uh, Sunday, lunch and dinner is still up in the air on Sunday. Might have some leftovers from something in here that get trans that fair for down to lunch on Sunday. And then uh, I'll come up with a different dinner. So, okay, that is my meal plan. That is my plan for exercise. So this part down here, it has a little checklist area so I can check some things. Oops. So I can check some things off. I have planned my workouts for the week. I have not done. It has planned workouts for the week, meal prep complete, grocery shopping done, health goals this week, um, mental check-in, plan and journal, me time and schedule time too. I'm going to put read right here. Make sure I get my reading done. My health goals this week are stay in ketosis. So no cheating and having some sugar. Everything has to be sugar free. Now, what I want to do next and I'll be just about done with this sheet. I like to put me a motivational quote or something there. So I pulled out my sticker book that has some things in it. And based on the colors that I have used, let's see what we can do. Find something that might coordinate with what we already have here. Okay. These are, this is a little wrong, wrong mini sticker book that I picked up a while ago. I am going to put not much here that I see that I want to use. Smile, sweat, replete, repeat. Nope. Okay, so now I'm going to my Happy Planner Fitness Sticker Books. I need a new one of these or one of the latest ones that have come out. And something small enough to fit in that little box. Oh, I forgot about those little hydration stickers. So we will find something. I like this one that says, fall in love with taking care of your body. And that's what I'm doing with this. So I'm going to stick that there as a little motivational quote. And 
yeah i think that's it guys this is the plan for the week i'm gonna punch it with my happy planner punch and stick it in my planner and then i think on the back of here i am going to use my um what is that thing called what is it called i haven't used it in so long i forgot what it was called my hp sprocket this and i am going to take a um before picture or a progress picture and see how i look and then i might do that on a different page because i want to have it something i'm gonna do it in my journal and i'll uh, do a video of me making that page as my progress page in my journal as i track as i go through keto so week of may 3rd will be like a week where i'm going to seriously track it i've been like i said i've been trying since february and i have seen some changes in my body but um i haven't been really keeping up with it so i'm going to do that starting uh may 1st and then we'll see how we do a month later also uh i'm going to ask you guys to help me out because i want to go back to doing my recipe videos and since i am experimenting with uh keto recipes I would like for you guys to comment below and tell me which recipe out of these uh, dinner recipes that I have here would you like to see me do like a cook with me video as I prepare these keto style meals. I think that um, that would be something that some people would be interested in. If you are interested in something like that, please drop a comment below and let me know. Also, if you like this video and you like to see more of these videos, please like it by giving it a big, big thumbs up and go ahead and hit that little red subscription button over there. So when I post another one of these, you'll get a notification. Guys, it's been real. It's been fun. I hope it's been real fun and I look forward to sharing my progress with you guys so i'll see you in the next video bye